What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Expanded Thursday. Today, we're going to go over Lander's Red Rock deck. Now, there has been a lot of talk about this deck online. I've seen a lot of people talk about it. Is it a good deck? Is it a bad deck? I personally think it's an okay deck. It's not good. It's not bad. It's somewhere in the middle. It does have good matchups. If you hit the right matchups, um, which is always the thing of Pokemon. Depends what kind of deck you're playing against. If you have a good match or not. Uh, but let's go over the deck today. I know... Last week we covered Zygarde and Regirock. This could be a totally different concept. It still revolves around like killing your Landers using Super Scoop Up AZs to pick it back at your hand to reuse them. But I think Landers is a better attacker and expanded than Zygarde. And I'll show you why right now. So Landers has the attack uh, Hammerhead. It does 30 base and this, this attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Which can help you start sending up knockouts. You know, you do Hammerhead with fighting, with, uh, fighting energy or with... Yeah, f fighting energy. Is that, is that what it's called? I can't remember right now. A uh, strong energy, sorry. With strong energy, Red uh fighting stadium. You do like 100 damage, hit the bench for 30 maybe. Um, and you can start doing some cool plays uh, and maybe, you know, soft things, softening things up as when they come up to the act spot. That way you can just knock them out with a single hammerhead. I think that's where the deck shines because you can do 100 to the active, do 30 to the bench. They send it up, maybe do it twice. Uh, maybe you have double strong energy or something. And then Hallucha is a great attack. Well, let's go with Landis first. Let's go to Hallucha. Uh, Landis also has a second attack, Lance Judgment. You may discard all fighting energy attached to this Pokemon. If you do, this attack does 70 more damage, which is 150. Uh, but since you soften them up, you can easily knock them out. You have strong energy as well to do 170. And this is why Landis is such a cool card. Uh, you have Hammerhead. Lance Judgment is a good attack. 80 is nothing to laugh at either. Like 80, then with strong energies and muscle bands, Regirox, Fighting State. You could probably one shot a Pokemon if you get lucky enough. Let's see 8, 19, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Uh, yeah, you can easily knock out an EX just by Lance Judgment and not discarding a Fighting Energy, which is a really, really strong card. Uh, Red Rock, we know, of course, gets 10, dam 10 more damage to your active Pokemon. Hoopa lets you search for 3X Pokemon and Shaman helps you set up to draw more cards. And um, we do play 2 Hallucha. Hallucha has the ability Shining Spirit. Damage for this Pokemon attacks isn't affected by weakness or resistance, but it has the attack Flying Press. It can only hurt EX Pokemon, which is the main thing to note about. But let's say you have a Hallucha, you put a strong energy on it, you hit for 80. Uh, with a Muscle Band, you hit for 100. With a Fighting Stadium, you hit for 120. And with 3 Red Rock, you do 150. And the reason why this is cool is because if you use Hammerhead to hit a bench for 30, you can then maybe take a knockout with a Flying Press. For that 30 damage, and which is very, very cool. And this is why the numbers kind of do matter a lot. Uh, if you get like double strong energy, you could do 170. Uh, if I did the math right in my head, I think it's 170. And that could one shot a Pokemon if you get double strong energy, which is very hard to do sometimes. And you can see why this deck is so strong. We saw it with Zygarde. You got the fighting, the strong energy, the, the muscle band, the fighting stadium. And uh, this continues on to expand it, of course. Uh, but now Landers is our attacker instead of Zygarde. One computer search for search for any two cards in your deck, um, it, just for consistency reasons. One escape rope, one switch, depending on what you want to use. Because you can Karina, grab the switch or the escape rope, uh, which is very nice. One heavy ball. I know some people said, why don't you play heavy ball? I, we'll play it this time around. I kind of forgot about it in the last video. Uh, but you can uh, Karina for a fighting Pokemon and a heavy ball to maybe get out two Regirock. Uh, Landers also has a 3 energy tree cost, which is nice. Uh, Hoopa has a 2. Uh, Red Rock has a 3. Uh, Heavy Ball lets you, search, lets you search your deck for a Pokemon with a tree cost of 3 or less. One first letter, because you get Karina for a letter and a fighting Pokemon. For a Super Scoop Up, so we can try to heal our Landers if we flip heads. Because nobody can really one-shot a Landers. It has so much HP. 180 is very nice. Uh, maybe Night March can, but then you play like, uh, you know, the Focus... Sash, maybe they can't knock you out because they can't find his Rosic or Megaphone or Tool Scrapper. There's a lot of different things they can use to bump your Focus Sash. They can play Lysander as well. Uh, so maybe Focus Sash can help you out against Night March. Uh, for Ultra Ball, for BS Seeker as well. Alright, so one AZ, just more cards to heal our Pokemon and to maybe pick up Pokemon if we want to like heal maybe a Red Drug, maybe put Shame into our hands so our opponent can Lysander it up. One course, four Karina, two Lysander, three in, four Juniper, pretty much staple stuff. Three Fighting Stadium, so you do 20 more damage to the defending Pokemon EX. Uh, two Focus Ash, three Muscle Band, four Strong Energy, and six Fighting Energies. Uh, everything else is pretty much common knowledge. Like I said, we have covered this deck 
fairly recently in the Zygarde uh, Red Rock deck, but the only cards that we added and expanded is, of course, Landorus. We added in the Hot Lucha, we didn't play it last time, we are playing it now, I think it's a really good attacker, because Sidestone is a really big card in Expanded, uh, but Flying Press, Flying Press and a Hot Lucha, uh, Flying Press and a Toad is really fun, because now they have to deal with this Hot Lucha, or they have to uh, just get knocked out, which is really, really nice. You could play, maybe play a third Hot Lucha as well if you want to, uh, maybe play a 3-3 in line or something. Uh, it's still early in the game with Landorus. Uh, the sad thing about Expanded, though, is after this weekend of Expanded Regionals, we really won't have it anymore for a really long time, uh, because Nationals is the standard, and everybody assumes Worlds is standard. Uh, if it is Expanded, then we could maybe see Landers and Expanded, uh, but they haven't, I don't think they've announced the Worlds format yet, but hopefully do this deck list. I think this is a really, really strong deck. Like I said, you can hit the bench. I think you do struggle with Trevenant, and Nightmarch might be shaky as well, but you can uh, beat a lot of other decks, uh, but hopefully enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day, and let's see this deck in action right now. All right, pretty good cabs on 1989 playing a psychic and a colors deck. This might be a Trevenant deck, and if it is, I'm gonna be kind of worried. We did lose the coin flip, so we'll be going second. And if it is a uh, a Trevenant deck, can we take it down or not? Uh, we will get a mulligan. My opponent's gonna see we're playing an all fighting deck. I mean, we had an okay turn one. Depends on what card would have been a Pokemon and what Pokemon it would have been, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, we're press done. We'll draw a new hand of seven. Let's see, what do we get? All right, there's a Landers, a Fighting Energy, uh, maybe Ultra Ball, Karina. We have a lot of different options we have. And let's see, what is my opponent plan? Is it a Trevenant or not? That is the big question. If it is a Trevenant, do they get the turn one Trevenant or not? And there's a, oh, a Gengar. Uh, still, the Gengar has a Fighting Resistance, which is going to be fairly interesting uh but hopefully we can knock out whoever he puts on the bench um but we'll probably just ultra ball maybe get a uh a reggie rock out there's a dimension valley muscle band mystery energy coming down uh it's a pretty solid turn one for my opponent so far and let's see what do they play maybe a trevenant in their game oh, okay and oh no we could have ultra ball turn one for a hoopa and drew a bunch of stuff all right so let's try again we're gonna get a whole new hand of six there's a Fighting Stadium, Regirock, AZ. Okay, I can't complain about that hand. Oh, to our turn. We get an Ultra Ball. So I'm a Karina. And with the Karina, I'm going to grab a Regirock. And then maybe Professor Letter if it's in the deck. Um, is it in the deck? Is Professor Letter in the deck? It is. All right, so we're going to grab the Professor Letter. We will let her grab, let's see, how many Fighting Energies? Uh, we'll grab both of them. And what I'll do is I'll put down the Regirock. Reggie Rock, Fighting Stadium, Energy, Ultra Ball, Discard AZ, and another Fighting Energy. And with this, we're probably getting another Reggie Rock. Uh, that seems cool. We could maybe get a Hallucha. Uh, but let's give a Reggie Rock right now. Let's put that down and let's shame and draw on five new cards. Can we find a Muscle Band as well? Uh, let's see. There is an N. Okay, there's a Muscle Band. So I'm going to put the Muscle Band on the active. And I will just hammerhead for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, minus 20. So 80 damage if I did the math correctly. And yeah, there's 80 damage. So turn 180 with the landers. If they had another Pokemon, we could have done 30 to it as well. All right, so let's see. Owned my opponent's turn. What will they get? Um, but like I said, we could next turn Ultra for a Hallucha. Maybe set that guy up. Uh, but we actually need to put a strong energy on this guy. Lice into the Gengar to get a knockout. Um, the only thing that's kind of scary is this Dark Quarter. Uh, yeah, that's kind of scary. Uh, but let's see, what does Cab Izan do? What do they decide to do is the question. Um, yeah, let's see what they're going to do. Do they find another Pokemon? Uh, we bumped up Dimension Valley as well, so they need to find another Dimension Valley or a DCE. There is an Ultra Ball. Let's see what they decide to get. There is a Zubat and a Golbat via discarded. Okay. Alrighty, let's see. Do they get another Gengar? They will get another Gengar out, out and play. Alright, so we're going to put the Gengar down. There's a Shaman coming down. Drawn three cards. Now, the Shaman's going to be kind of interesting for us because we can maybe lice into that Shaman, take a knockout with it with the Hall Lucha. Uh, there's a Wobbuffet coming down, okay, uh, which can shut down our abilities, but I don't think we're really going to attack the Wobbuffet. There's an Ultra Ball. Go to discard a mystery and a Golbat. And ooh, does he find another Shaman? And yeah, he's going to grab another Shaman. Wow, this is not going to be good for my opponent. It's going to set up draw. Four new cards. Can they find a DC or the Dimension Valley? That is the question. Okay. 
And there's a DCE, so we will see a Dark Corridor. Uh, but the thing is, my opponent can't attack us next turn. Unless they use Wobbuffet. Hmm. Wobbuffet could be really scary. Um, hmm. This is going to be an interesting turn for sure. We could go for the Lysander, take a knockout. Maybe softening up the Wobbuffet. So that way when he does take a knockout, we can then Ultra Ball for another, uh... Hmm, this is a Wobbuffet coming down, okay. Oh man, it's going to be interesting for sure. Wobbuffet will come down. And let's see, there's a Giovanni scheme. I'm going to draw five new cards. Does my opponent find a Dimension Valley or not? And yeah, there is a Dimension Valley. So the question is, do we take a knockout right now? Uh, there's a Dark Order. Going to do 180 damage, okay? So eight, nine, uh, come back to us, ten. There's a Wobbuffet coming up. Poison hitting us for ten more damage. All right, so let's see. We draw into a Super Scoop Up. Okay. Um, I think what, oh, man. Okay, see, I'm an Ultra Ball discard the Lysander in the end. And with this, we're up another Landorus. Come to me, Landorus. Yeah, I think it's going to be this kind of a smart play. We'll put down the Landorus. Use Super Scoop Up. Heads. All right, so we're going to pick that Landorus. Put it back into your hand. We'll send up the other Landorus. Okay. Uh, put a strong energy. And now we have a decision. We can't via Seeker for a Lysander. Maybe bring it up this Gengar. The only problem is we don't have another supporter card for the next turn. But my opponent, uh, how many mystery energies has he discarded? One, two, okay. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it. Let's via Seeker for a Lysander. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's grab the Lysander, whatever, and let's Lysander up this Gengar. Maybe my opponent can't retreat it. And we'll put a Muscle Band on the active, and we'll use Hammerhead, uh, doing another uh, 80. And then we'll put 30 on the Gengar. That way we're soft enough, we can maybe knock it out with another uh, Hammerhead. So 80, 30, on to our own to opponent's turn. Let's see what's going to happen. Now, if we talk to like a Fighting Stadium, and opponent can't retreat the Gengar. We can take a knockout, as well as maybe put more, energy on, more damage on this Gengar. But we will see Computer Search, most likely getting... A way to retreat out of this Gengar. Okay, so he's gonna get a card, but most likely it's gonna be like a mystery energy. Yeah, gonna free retreat into the other Gengar. Maybe his Dark Corridor. But let's see. I think we're still gonna be okay. There's a VS Seeker. Gonna grab a Geovite scheme to draw five new cards. So what I can do is I can do Hammerhead for three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, do seventy. Put thirty on this guy, and that way we can take three prize cards the following turn. Uh, I think that'd be the correct play. Uh, so Dark Order gonna do 80 damage. Uh, probably send up the Wobbuffet. Uh, maybe the one without. Okay, he's gonna send the one without the Floatstone. All right. So on our turn, what do we top deck? And there is a, a Focus Ash, which is pretty much useless. I'll put down the uh, the Landris. Put a Fighting Energy on this guy. And yeah, we're just gonna go for Hammerhead. Three, four, five, six, seven, and then we'll do 30 damage. This guy. Oh man, we're gonna whiff, we're gonna whiff a knockout next turn. The Wobbuffet, but we get a knockout. Oh man, did I hit the wrong Gengar. Oh no, I messed up. I hit the wrong Gengar. I meant to hit this guy. Oh no. Whoops. Okay. All right, that was a mistake on my part. All right, but on to my opponent's turn. Let's see what's gonna happen. Um, we can still make an interesting play. Where we can do 30 damage to this guy, then license both the Gengars, take a knockout, and then maybe take the last two prize cards on a Shaman. Uh, just unfortunately, we hit the wrong Gengar. Oh, man. But I think we're still going to be okay. There's a fighty few else going into the Gengar. Perfect. And, of course, for 10 whole new cards. Uh, but we can maybe soak. How much HP does this guy have? 100 HP left, okay? Uh, there's a Psychic Energy City active, so we will see a Psychic Soul for the knockout. There's a Sacred Ash, Gonna Shuffle. Five Pokemon back into the deck. Uh, I mean, all they have is Bats and the Discard Pile. Hmm. Okay. All right. And we just got to figure out how we're going to do this. Now, the good thing about next turn is my opponent really can't take a knockout. Uh, yeah. There's a Go Back, Crow Back, Go Back, Crow Back, Go Back as their hand. Okay. And we'll see a Psycho Salt for the knockout. If we top deck an end, I will be uh, very excited. So we'll take it. We'll get knocked out. Do it 130 damage to us. Bring it up to 230. Let's go, Landorus, and let's see what do we top deck. Give me an end or something. And we're freezing. Hold on a second. All right, there we go. Go, go, Landorus. On to our turn. We get a Ultra Ball. 
All right, I guess we're going to hammerhead. Do 30 to that guy, and we'll hit this guy for another 30. But like I said, my opponent really can't retreat. I mean, he can next turn, uh, but we'll see what happens. All to my opponent's turn. Going to draw a card. Does he have a switch, a mystery energy? Uh, he's already played three mystery energies, and if he attaches the energy retreats, he'll have to discard both the energies off the Wobbuffet. So let's see, does my opponent find an energy or not? We could take a Naga out this past turn, but... We hit the wrong Pokemon, which is fantastic. Okay, all right, all right, all right. We'll see what happens though. Uh, the Wobbuffet is heavily damaged, which is great. Uh, Slag Soul will only do 10 damage. Oh no, do 10, 20, 30. There's a DCE. So now what they could do is retreat the DCE to the Gengar. Yeah, this is not looking good for us right now. There's a retreat into the Gengar. We'll see another Dark Corridor. And can we top deck something or not? That is going to be the question of the day. But we will take a knockout next turn for sure. We'll take actually three. Oh, if he sends up this Wobbuffet, we'll take three prize cards. Uh, so go to 80. Sit up this guy. Take 10 damage from Poison. Okay. On to our turn. We get a Karina. Okay, which is going to be good. So we can Karina. Grabbing another Landorus. And then we'll grab... Could go for a super scoop up. I think going for the VS Seeker is going to be the better play. Um, to kind of like guarantee the attack next turn. Uh, so we'll get a VS Seeker. Put down the Landorus. And let's just go for a Hammerhead. Doing... Three, uh, yeah, 30 damage. Gonna put 30 damage on this guy. Take it a knockout, okay? So go down to four prize cards. Let's see, do we find a strong energy or a muscle band? There's a muscle band and a computer search. So next turn we can, uh, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, we'll be short still, okay? We're people We're gonna get another Wobbuffet out. Maybe another Gengar. Let's see, there's a Wobbuffet coming down. Now, if we can knock out this Gengar this turn, we might be... Okay, because my opponent really can't do damage the following turn. Mm, let's see. How much HP? 100 damage. Okay. Um, I don't think we could do that. Well, let's see. What does my opponent have? There's a Psychic Energy on this guy. Okay. Which they can't attack now since the Dimension Valley is still in play. Let's see. Uh, actually, they should probably attach to the active. Because they could have knocked us out this turn. And just a pass for my opponent. All right, so that was probably the misplay by my opponent in the opening that we needed in this game. Uh, so let's see. We have a lot of different options. Um, I'm going to actually go to Computer Search, discard the Ultra Ball, and the Focus Sash. And with this, I'm going to grab a Super Scoop Up. Come to me, Super Scoop Up. If we can flip heads, pick up this Landers, my opponent... It's probably going to be really mad at us. But let's super scoop up and heads. So we'll pick up that Landorus. Uh, send up the other Landorus. Okay. Uh, put down a Fighting Energy. Muscle Band. And we'll put down the other Landorus. Hmm. Yeah, we'll put down the other Landorus. I'm just going to Via Seeker for an end. No, we'll, we'll Via Seeker for a... Uh, no Sycamore. Wow, that's interesting. I guess we'll grab the end. Yeah, it seems like a better play. We really don't need to play Karina. We need to draw new cards in our hand. All right, so let's see what's going to happen. There's a strong energy. We probably could have just VS Seeker for... I mean, if, uh, yeah, we probably could have just VS Seeker uh, for a Karina. Went for a scoop, a scoop up that way, but whatever. Uh, we'll Hammerhead. Do 50 and... 30 damage onto this guy, which is still not a knockout. So I'm actually going to knock out this Wobbuffet. Uh, at least take a knockout this turn. And we'll go down to 3. Okay. Uh, we'll take a Halucha. Okay. On to my opponent's turn. We can take a knockout on this Wobbuffet, wherever it is. If it's on the bench, if it's on the active. Um, so we'll take... And there's a Victory Street coming out. Uh, we would have knocked out the Wobbuffet. Start powering up the Landorus. And we probably would have won the game for sure. My opponent probably could have retreat, retreat, retreat the Wobbuffet. Because they played so many Mystery Energies. Uh, maybe, I guess the mistake was not attacking with the Wobbuffet, but we would have ended up on it down to two, and they probably would have been in a really bad situation regardless. It wasn't looking great for my opponent, but we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second, and we'll see what happens on Expanded Thursday. All right, putting against Balotelli, playing a Psychic and a Dark deck. Not sure what this could be, but call heads like always, and we won the coin flip. Now, since it is dark, they might be weak to fighting, or they might be resistant to fighting, depending if it's Evital EX or Dark EX. Well, we start with Walucha, uh, which is always great. We are going first as well. Hmm. Can we get a Landorus turn one? That'd be very great to attach a strong energy to it. Maybe get a Heavy Ball, maybe a Karina type deck. That'd be great as well. And let's see... 
There is an Evital, the Evital right there, and a Mew. Very interesting combination. Uh, but let's put down the Landris. Let's put a strong energy. And I think I'm just going to pass for my turn. My opponent can possibly knock us out next turn, but I think we're going to be okay. We'll end our turn. And let's see what happens. Next turn, we can put a Fighting Stadium down. Maybe get a Muscle Band. Uh, do Hammerhead for a ton of damage. Now, the Evital is resistant. There's a Dark Energy to the active. Muscle Band onto it as well. Skyla Gun Search Deck for any Trainer card. And maybe grab a Supporter card for the following turn. Uh, well, let's see. Hammerhead will do 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, minus 20 is 50. Maybe soften up that Mew. And maybe snipe that Mew for a knockout. It will take ugh, 4 turns to knock it out. But my opponent really can't one-shot our Landorus. But let's see what does the Skyla get. If this Skyla gets my opponent a uh, N, then I'm not going to play my N. I'm just going to hold on to my N saying, hey, I'm not going to play it. Uh, you play your N before I play my N. Uh, because we can start doing heavy damage for my opponent can't start doing theirs. And there's a Shauna. A Shauna, okay. Uh, so we see a pass onto our turn. We'll get a Lysander. Okay. Uh... Ooh. Let's put down Friday Stadium. Hmm. I think the play is just... Uh, do we computer search right now or do we hold on to it? <coughs> Let's computer search, discard Life Center, and a Fighting Energy. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Alright, so let's grab a Hoopa. Which is kind of weird, but we're going to Hoopa. Search for three Red Rocks. I'm not even sure how many are on the deck. Um, so yeah, there's three red drops coming to our hand, and they'll play in. Maybe try to get another strong energy, or we could just hold on to the, the, the scoop up in our hand, uh, which might seem fine as well. We know opponent only has a Shauna. So yeah, let's just retreat into the Landers and use Hammerhead for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, minus 20, so 80. Uh, so Hammerhead for 80, we'll do 30 to this, uh, Mew. And then maybe, like I said, in three turns, three more turns, we can knock it out. It does have 90 HP left. Only to our opponent's turn. Let's see what's going to happen. Now, if the opponent does attack, we can super scoop up, pick up this Landorus, maybe play it in, draw a new hand of six. Uh, of course, the Hot Lucha does have free retreat, which is really nice. And also, we can take a knockout with the Hot Lucha the following turn, because Flying Press will do six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. And then if we get a Focus Sash, my opponent's going to be in really big trouble. So let's see what's going to happen. We know they have the Shauna in their hand. Maybe they have a DCE. Maybe they have a Dark Energy. Uh, but let's see what's going to happen. Now, once again, I opted not to play the end because I don't want to give my, my opponent a new hand of six. And then they play another supporter card because right now they only have four cards in their hand. They have to work with those four. Then play the Shauna. Uh, and as if you were to play the end, you give them more cards. And we actually see a Rainbow Energy come to the active. A Lysander bringing up the Regirock, which is very interesting. And we're going to see Evil for 80 damage. Now, we can just easily get out of this. Let's see, does Super Scoop up let us down? There's a Focus Ash, which is going to be really nice. We'll put that on the Hawlucha. And let's go for a Super Scoop up. Do we flip heads or tails? And it is a heads. So we'll pick up that Red Rock. Uh, we'll send the Hawlucha to the Axe spot. Put down a Red Rock EX. And I'm going to go for an N. If we draw a Strong Energy... Uh, okay, there's not a Strong Energy. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to play a Professor Letter... Get two fighting energies out, and we can fly press for a knockout. And my opponent really can't knock out this Hallucin next turn because it has a focus sash on it. So let's see, did I do the math wrong? Oh my goodness, no, we can actually retreat and we can actually knock it out now because it does have. Yeah, it actually, the 10 damage is actually going to take a knockout this turn. Wow, so let's hammerhead, uh, take a knockout on this guy, and we'll do 30 more damage to this Mew. That rainbow energy costs my opponent to knock out this turn. Alright, so we're going down to four prize cards. Regardless, we have the knockout with Hallucha. There's a Juniper and a Heavy Ball. Okay. There's a Mew coming up. I mean, I would have liked to attach the energy to Landers instead. Because we could have uh, made it where... <clears throat> what is it? Um, Like, we could have set it for a, a Lands Judgment, which would have been interesting. We see a Mewtwo come down. Mew on the active. Uh, we could see an X-Ball this turn. It'll only do 60 damage. What I really want to do is license into the Zora Rub before it evolves into Zora Arc because I think that's the most trouble my opponent's deck will give us. And we do have a Lysander in the discard pile, which is going to be really nice. There's a Rainbow Energy to the active. Going to bring it up to 70 damage. 50 HP total left. There's a Dark Patch. Bring a Dark Energy probably onto the Zora Zora. 
like I said, Zora's pro Zorak is probably his best attacker if he is playing the stand in Zorak with the mind jack ability. Um so let's see, where does the Dark Patch go? Yeah, it is gonna go that Zora, but I think we're just gonna take a knockout on it. And I know it put us at three price cards, but I think that's the better play. Mmm. Or what we could do is once again go for a super scoop, but pick up the Landris and uh start softening that Mewtwo, and then maybe take a knockout on it somehow next turn. We hit it for 140. I mean, we could maybe take a knockout on next turn if we do Hammerhead 30 this guy. Yeah, there's a Blue Wing for just 30 damage, okay. Put a Dark Energy Prime on the Zora. Uh, oh, actually, no Dark Energy in the Discard Pile. And there's another Strong Energy. So let's go for Super Scoop Up, Do Flip Heads, or Tails. And there is a Tails, okay. Hmm. What to do? I wish we had a Karina in the Discard Pile because we can Karina. But let's see, if we attach a Strong Energy to the active. Uh, Mewtwo can maybe get a DCE muscle base, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, which is not a knockout. So yeah, I'm going to put a strong energy in the active, and then I'm going to play a Chorus to hopefully hit a muscle band, and maybe next time we can knock out this Mewtwo, maybe with the Lance Judgment, uh, with a lot of different stuff. There's an Escape Rope, another Fighting Energy, uh, no muscle band yet, uh, but we'll go for Hammerhead. I'll do 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 120 damage. Going to hit that Mewtwo 430. And next to we can land judgment for the knockouts. Oh man, but what if he gets a Zork out? There's a strong muscle band. Let's see. Zork would do 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16. And yeah, that would, oh man. Yeah, this is actually going to be kind of scary. Because if he gets a Zork out, and there is a Zork. It's actually the foul play one. Which he can copy the land judgment. Uh, he can only do 80 though with it though. So that's going to be great. Oh, man, so it's not the Zork I thought it was going to be. Woo! All right, so there's a, uh, what is that, a bad energy? Uh, what is this energy called? Oh, it's called a bad energy, but it's a dangerous energy. Uh, we put two damage counters on us, but if my opponent, yeah, he's just going to see a foul play for a lands judgment to do 80 damage. Uh, they can't discard any fighting energy, so we're going to see, yeah, just, oh, actually Hammerhead, so 30 and 30 to a Hollow Lucha, but hey, Right now, what we're going to do on to our turn, we're going to Via Seeker. Oh no, we're going to Via Seeker for Lysia to bring up that Mewtwo and use a Land's Judgment. We would have done 8, oh man, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I think it does 80 plus 70? Or is it 80 plus 60? I can't remember. Oh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We would have done 170 base uh, damage. Let's, uh, let's look at our deck one more time. 8... 19, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, oh man, I don't know how much damage we're going to do. Hammerhead would have done 8, so 150, and then we would have had 3 strong energies on it, so 20, 40, 60, so 210, plus 3 red rocks, 240, and with a fighting stadium, uh, 260, and the muscle man, 280 damage is what we would have done to that Mewtwo X for the knockout. So there's the red rock, or not red rock. <laughs> It's about as well be Red Rock, the Landers Red Rock deck. Uh, it's a really cool concept. You have the Hollow Luchas, like I said, to help out get Sidestone. You have Landers for pretty much everything else. I will say probably your worst matchup is going to be Trevenant, which is highly played in Expanded Satellite, though. Uh, but I think it's a really cool deck. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you see the power of Landers and how Hammerhead is a really, really strong attack, especially when you're hit for a bunch, hitting the bench for 30 and then you can use Hot Lucha maybe to use Flying Press to clean up some EX Pokemon after you spread so much damage. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Alrighty. Bye. Alright guys, just want to give a quick shout out to our two sponsors, 60 Cards and Yeti Gaming. The links are down below to their websites. Make sure you go check them out. Alrighty.